So, it is officially the first of the year of 2024. Um, so I thought I would start a vlog today. Um, like a little quick reading vlog of just some books I've been really wanting to get to. Um, especially books I wanted to start the beginning of the year with. So, um, the first book I'm wanting to start, which I gotta find the audiobook for, I gotta see if my library has it, or if I have to get it maybe like on Audible or something, um, is A Study in Drowning by Ava Reed. I don't know what this is about, but I was kind of drawn to the book, um, and this is the, I think this is a fair loot edition, so it's also pretty. Um, I was kind of drawn to the book, and then I read something that the author wrote regarding her book, and it, it was something along the lines of, like, this is for the girls who always feel, like, the background characters, or it was something along those lines, and that, like, resonated with me, because I always, I feel like I'm that girl, so, I'm, it made me bump up this, it made me really want to read this, so I'm gonna start out with this book, I'm just gonna find it. Um, so once I find it and start it, I will give you guys a little bit of an update. I think the other two books I'm going to be trying to read in this is, um, ooh, sorry, I'm looking for the books, is The Wishing Game, which I feel like may have a similar vibe, and Divine Rivals, and maybe one more, I don't know yet. But those are the three I'm going to be aiming for, but for right now I'm going to start with The City in Drowning. So... Um, I will be back with an update once I've started and everything like that. I started a study in drowning. I am 33% into the book. Um, so far it's interesting, but it's actually a lot slower than I expected it to be. And I'm not sure how I feel about it yet, to be honest. But, uh, I had to take a break because Chanel decided she wanted to buddy read it with me. So I told her I would get, I would wait for her, um, to continue on. And so it might be like a day or two before she can get her hands on her library copy. So I went ahead and actually started Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. And actually, I'm enjoying this more than I expected. I'm only 10% in, but I find the world so far that's been introduced to me actually really interesting and the characters to be intriguing so I'm a little hooked to see what's gonna happen next for these characters and what this rivalry is and I'm interested in the gods aspect and this like war and stuff so I'm intrigued overall so I'm excited to read more but I just wanted to do a little little update for the vlog Hey friends, it's me checking in on this vlog. Um, so I put a pause on a study in drowning for right now, um, but I'm about to pick it back up. But I did finish Divine Rivals, and I see why all the girlies love it. I see why it's been hyped up over the past year, because... I was so invested in that story more than I thought I would be um it was like and I normally don't like slow burns but it was definitely slow burn but like in a tasty way if that makes sense like first of all first of all the author's word choice like the way she wrote was just so like I don't know, it was, it made the story so interesting, it made it flow in a very special way, which I was not expecting, and I, I just, I loved the wordiness, if that makes sense, like the word choices she used to describe things, and feelings, and the characters, and the conversations, it just, it was very cool. And then the love interest, like, their spark was there from the start, but I loved seeing it kind of 
grow more and more like when you first meet them it's kind of like this little little thing and then it just slowly grows throughout the story and so I really love that too but I love the fact that the story wasn't just about that it was it was just like a small story within a bigger thing going on the world building was interesting I'm definitely intrigued by these gods in this war that's happening like I, I love it. it it's kind of giving um, like the Iliad almost where like they or the Iliad and what is the not the Odyssey the Iliad where like those gods are going to war and everybody's fighting on behalf of the gods and everything like that like it's giving that and I actually really enjoyed the Iliad like certain aspects of it so the fact that this was giving similar vibes I enjoyed a lot um and yeah, and I enjoyed the fact that our main character, um, Iris, I liked the fact that, like, she loved her people, and, but she also strived for, like, a bigger purpose. She didn't just, like, let this, a lot of the stuff that was happening to her knock her down and keep her down. She just kept giving back up, and she was like, alright, new purpose, new path, new goal, new me. And I just loved that so much. So, four stars to this. I'm so nervous to pick up the sequel. Because, like, where the first book ended, it's like, what the heck is going to happen? <laughs> like, so many things just started happening at the end. Like, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so nervous for everybody involved. So, I love that for me. So, glad that I read this. This was my first four star of the year. So, we love that. Um, so, yeah. So, next, I'm going to be trying to pick up or finish probably A Study in Drowning. And then I gotta decide what my third book is going to be, which I will let you know which I figured that out, but y'all, I loved it. Loved it so much. Also, so I have a Fairy Loot edition. It was either Fairy Loot or Illumin Crate edition of, the Div of Divine Rivals. I got it last year. Y'all, I'm praying that I didn't give this book away because I did a whole unhaul over the summer when I moved. Like, I got rid of a bunch of books. And I can't remember, like I remember at one point I put it in the pile to get rid of, but I also remember going back to that pile and taking some books out. So please pray that I made the correct decision to take this book out of that pile, because if I got rid of that, I'm gonna be upset with myself, I'm gonna be so upset. So please pray for me that I didn't make a stupid mistake here, because... I'm going to be upset with myself all year. This is going to be, this is not the vibe that I want to go into 24, 24 with, and it might be the vibe. So, all right, we'll update you with the next thing when I can. All right, I'm back, and I am finished with A Study in Drowning. Uh, I gave this 3 to 3.5 stars. I'm gonna be honest, y'all. I felt like an idiot the whole time listening to this story. Because it was good. It was very atmospheric. The writing was very, like, flowy and lyrical. And I, like, enjoyed that aspect. And I guess she maybe did this on purpose. But throughout the story, um, so it's about this girl who, she's very pretty and that's kind of all she's been surmounted to in her life. Like, whenever she encounters a male, they're always um, just seeing her at the surface level. And assuming that she's, like, easy because she's so pretty. And um, in their society at the moment, there is a war going on between the North and the South. Of whatever this land is. And... Women are not allowed to get an education unless they are majoring in architecture. They're not allowed to major in literature at all. And they're just kind of looked down on in society and kind of deemed less. And so she's the only woman in the architecture department. And she has a lot of past trauma from her family and then from a recent encounter with her advisor. Um, in trigger warnings for, like, sexual, uh, trauma. So, she just deals with a lot of that. And so, throughout her life, she has seen what is known as a fairy tale as the, is the Demon King. And so, this is a fairy tale that's been written by a famous author. And so, everybody just has brushed her off as kind of, like, crazy. She's just delusional. So, she's been taking pills and all that kind of stuff. 
so she takes this chance to take part in this competition where she's supposed to um, help, I guess, restructure the author's house. It's been like six months of his death, so his family's trying to like make the house better or something. So she gets, she applies, and then she gets accepted, and she goes, and she meets this this guy who's there from the literature college, and he's um, trying to get to the truth about this author's like life and his storytelling and just all the things that they don't really know about in regards to like how he wrote these famous stories and stuff and again it was just very lyrical writing um I but so like I was saying she gets delusions and so throughout the story she's seeing glimpses of this king this fairy king and so the whole time I'm like well is he real is he not I'm like is this a fantasy is this a magical realism type thing I couldn't tell it was so hard to figure out I was like I can't tell if the fairy tales are real or if this is just the verbiage that she's using to get her story across and so the whole time I just felt stupid because I just was like I can't tell <laughs> so that kind of lessened the story for me also I felt like the story was very long that was the other thing it felt kind of long and after a while it felt a little bit tedious to listen to so that was another thing that kind of dinged it for me and then as we like get further into the story it, you kind of realize that the story is more about um women finding their voice and finally like speaking out from their silence like getting their basically getting their voices back and this was such an intense way to tell that to be honest for me and then also the ending so there's like the the ending there's like it's it's like like if you ever read Sadie you know how like there's the last line and then you're just like it's abruptly ended and you're just like what the hell it kind of happened here too where there's a last line and you're just kind of like okay to be honest I heard the last line and I was like I don't get it <laughs> I don't get why this is significant I can't remember and I I listened to that book I was consciously listening to it the whole time but I can't remember why that last line is important. I don't get the reference. So, here we are. I don't know. I liked the writing. I would definitely give this author another try. I'd say if you, and I haven't read this book yet, but if you like, um, V. E. Schwab, if you liked, uh, what is that one book that she just came out with, with the girl falling in love with the devil, if you like that book, then you'll probably like this one, um, but it was just, yeah, it was, it was an interesting read. If you do not like lyrical writing or, like, atmospheric plots, this is definitely not the story for you. Definitely don't pick it up. I feel like this book is only going to appeal to a certain group of people, and if you're not that group of people, don't try, because you're just not going to like it. This is your warning. So, yeah, that's, that's my thoughts. Those are my thoughts. Those are my thoughts. <laughs> um, yeah, I just... I don't know what else to say about it, to be honest. So we're just going to leave it at that. that. Um, if anybody has read this and they get the last line, please explain it to me. Because uh, your girl's lost. I don't get it. And I want to. I want to, I want to be in the know. But I don't get it. So... Hey friends, coming in to uh, end this vlog, I thought I was going to fit a third book into this, but I realized I wasn't going to be able to because um, the month's almost over and I want to get this up before um, next month starts, so we're just going to go with that. 
But I had a good time with the two books that I read. Um, they were very similar but different. Like they had similar vibes but like different stories overall. Between the two I think I liked Divine Rivals a little bit better. Um, but I'm just glad that I was able to read those books and see how I felt. So yeah. Um, also, so I have a new little filming station in my room. I built myself a little uh, vanity set or vanity table. So I'll show you like a full screen picture in a second. But I'm just like so proud of myself. I felt like a I'm like Bob to build a moment. But it's also so pretty and I just love it. And this is why you see rainbow lights right now. My room looks so aesthetically lit and I just love it. Okay. Bye. <laughs>